Hello from Marguerite Valley. We are Davy and Sky, and in this video, we're going to be exploring a little bit of Marguerite. We're here at the Big Interval Lodge. We're going to check out some spots, yes. do a little ATV tour, do a little hike. A little bit of everything. So we are here in spring, so the leaves are just popping out on the trees. And you may have heard of this spot if you love fishing because Marguerite Rivers are world renowned. It is some of the best fishing for Atlantic salmon here in all of North America. And this spot is like the fishing go-to. Or in the snowier months, it's also a hub for snowmobiling. So you have your fishing, you have your snowmobiling, but what about your hiking? And that's kind of why we're here today. We're going to be staying two nights and exploring their hiking and their ATV package that they have. It's a two day backcountry tour. And uh, we, we're just very excited to be back in Cape Breton to be exploring a beautiful area and to be getting our, uh, our boots a little muddy and a little wet and seeing some great views. This is where we are staying. We are at this beautiful little cabin. They're dog friendly, so the girls are here with us, but before we take all of our stuff and settle in for the two nights, let's give you a little tour. So they have three different cottages on the property and the main lodge also has a restaurant. Stunning. I've actually not even looked in here yet. So this is my first view of it as well. Uh, you come in here, it looks like a beautiful living room spot, full kitchen area, a cooktop, microwave, fridge, all of your dishes and utensils as well. So you can come here, you can eat at their restaurant or you can just cook your own stuff too. Oh, I can't go in this one. That one's for cooking. <laughs> <laughs> it's a secret door. This is the washroom. This looks super newly renovated. Bedroom number one. Should I bed test every bed? Sure, do it. Ooh, these are like bouncy. Oh, that one's springier, that one's softer. So, <laughs> choose, it's a choose your own bed adventure. Whoa, that one's really bouncy. And this one's softer. They have multiple bed options. This is very cool. Which one do you want? I don't know. I'll take one room, so, you take the other. <laughs> This is really, really nice. So yeah, th this, these guys are awesome. They are well known and you can book them any time of year. So any season, uh, this would be so cozy, especially in the fall and winter too. There's also an epic waterfall straight across from us that you can see up in the mountain. It doesn't have a name. It's just a big ass waterfall. We asked her what the name of the waterfall is. She's like, there's no name. It's just our waterfall. Like, this is what they can see. We're gonna have some fun with the dogs here later. There's so much space, big open fields. Main lodge, waterfall. We just checked in, parked our car, and the beauty of experiencing Big Interval Lodge and this package that they are offering right now is that you can just come here and not worry about anything for the two days that you're here. So the guided tours that we're gonna be doing are all based out of the lodge, the ATV tour and the guided hike. We don't have to get in our car for the next two days. People come to us and we explore. First experience of this trip is gonna be an ATV ride with Turk and Kathy of TNT Outdoor Adventures. Hi guys. <laughs> We've met these guys before. David tried to tell me, he's like, try to act like you've never, uh, never met them before. <laughs> but they've been on the YouTube channel before because we've experienced their snowmobiling uh, tour with them as well as a guided tour to Cape Clear in the fall. This is our first time hitting the trails in this new machine, as well as in the springtime. And they actually have a spot based out of Hunter's Mountain, but part of this package is that they drive over to the Big Interval Lodge and they come to us. They come to you if you're staying here. Yep. <laughs> Take you up to beautiful Cape Clear from the beautiful lowlands here in this valley, and this is a piece of heaven. Double sun protection. Double sun protection. How's that feel? Go ahead. And there's one tree that at some point I'm going to get our customers to get out and sit on. It comes up about three feet, goes that way, and then back up. So we'll be we'll be your first you'll be your first customers yeah. to shit on it. To shit, to shit on it. <laughs> to shit on it. <laughs> <laughs> Polaris XP 1000 North Star yes, yeah. Ultimate okay. Edition. We're going to be riding a little like off-roading car basically yeah, up the mountain. Much is, yeah. <laughs> this is so a nice. Bit of dust kicking around. Yeah, it but a lot of you get to keep comfort of all like customers in comfort, right? No, ready to rumble. I'm ready to rumble. Like, it's a little bumpy, but for what the trail is, this is incredibly comfy. Like we're just smooth sailing.
Hi right, guys, we made it. Welcome to Cape Clear. Beautiful day to see the scenery. Get after it. Hi! <laughs> that was a great ride. How long were we riding for? Uh, about an hour and 20 minutes. An hour and 20 minutes? Yeah. yeah. And like, in those types of machines, like they're just so comfortable that it hardly feels like we're off-roading at all. And this new machine too with the windows, we got to stay clear of the dust and now we're here. It's actually not as windy. This is the least windy day I think we've ever been here. <laughs> we've definitely been here on some pretty wild days. Last time we were here, yeah. remember we were flying the drone? Yes, and it was just yes. like, I posted the video and it was like, like this. It's just hanging on. Nobody, nobody noticed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gorgeous. One of the best views. What would you say? The best view in Cape Breton Island? Okay. Yeah, in, so. yeah. in the world? In the world? Yeah. In the world? Yes. I'd say the world. <laughs> it's kind of became a tradition now. Every time we visit Cape Clear, you got to come over to the Davian Sky Rock. Apparently. <laughs> it's been spray painted DNS, which wasn't us. <laughs> which was again, not was, us. Was not us. Um, but it's the best view. It's so good. Look at this. Oh, you want me to? Oh, yeah. we have to demonstrate? Get over there. <laughs> nice. It's so cool being here in Sprague and just seeing the leaves starting to pop on the trees. Last time we were here was in fall. Yeah. So now we, we're, we're collecting. We have three seasons out of four. We're going to get a summer shot. But we're going to have every shot right here from every season. Yeah, we'll have to go to the bathroom. It's really green. Really green. Really green. By far one of the most beautiful places like we've ever been and on Cape Breton Island and there's just like an energy about it here and we were talking um, with Kathy and Turk on the way in and just the responsibility of booking a tour is so good to like highlight because they take care of you they make sure that you don't get lost there's no uh, breaking down on the way because the road into this look off is tough and yeah so they just like take care of you make sure that you have snacks and water and everything as well and it's just like a very responsible way to visit such an epic spot I never want to leave Well, I'm so happy to bring these people to Cape Clear today. Uh, we've all been here before, but it never gets old, and we just absolutely love it. And we're very, very happy to be worth working with Ruth and Herman, Big Interval Fishing Lodge, to offer this great expedition to Cape Clear. Hopefully the mic picks that up. Also, I love how I'm like, yeah, I would say something, and you're like, oh, I don't know what to say. Well, <laughs> <laughs> let me say <laughs> all of these things. <laughs> Had some snacks, flew the drone, got to see uh, Second Fork Falls from up top here, and now we're gonna be heading back. We're actually in the front seat on the way back, so yeah, it's exciting. Nice. It's nice here. New views. Well, well there's this the tree along the trail back Ooh, down to the lodge, like and it's like a nice <laughs> little sitting tree. And Turk said he's gonna take a guest to sit on it sometimes, but it doesn't have a name yet. What's its name? Perch. The perch. There you go. It has a name now. <sighs> Ooh, that's comfy. I don't know if that was worth it or not. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Up there. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to the perch. The awesome. great Marguerite gathering place. We are just heading back to the lodge now, but we wanted to stop because right down from the lodge, there's Ward's Rock Pool, and this is a well-known spot to go swimming. Uh, if it were a warmer day, we would definitely be hopping in. So you can just like look down and there's mountains on either side of the river there. And there's a big deep pool in the center here for people to uh, to go cool off. The owner, Ruth, told us that if her kids were here, they would already be swimming in it by now. May long weekend is when
when they start swimming in it. Just letting the dogs go for a run right now. And we're gonna grab dinner here. They have a full restaurant. We're gonna go check it out. They have a full menu here. We have heard amazing things about this restaurant. My dad is actually eating here. He's come here on Snowmobile and he wasn't staying in the cottages. So it's open to guests uh, that are staying at the cottages or if you're just wanting to grab a bite to eat while you're out exploring, you can pop in. I was told to make sure that you check their Facebook and their website to see what days of the week that they are open because it can change and especially in different seasons. This is the spot here, beautiful restaurant area, and there's a bar upstairs as well where we're gonna be dining in the natural light. The walls are filled with beautiful uh, photos of everybody with their day, with their big catches, and there's just, it's just a really quaint, quaint spot, loving it. Dinner would, with a view of the water. Would well. move in if we could. We got their seafood linguine, very well known here. So we obviously had to try it. That was very good. Look at those chunks of lobster. Amazing. And we have a view of a waterfall. Upstairs, so we're really so. full, but uh, David can't say no to dessert. He is a dessert boy. Sweet tooth galore. And lava cake. It's lava cake. They also have apple pie with ice cream though, so I think that's what I'll be getting tomorrow night. And banana split. Banana split as well. Bye. <laughs> oh my gosh. So we are so full. That food was incredible, holy moly. And now we're just taking our little stroll from the main restaurant lodge area back over to our cottage. We're gonna go get our dogs and go for a little evening sunset stroll along the river. Oh. Whoa. Oh. Are you happy? We're just wandering the grounds, I guess? I don't know if this is the <laughs> still on their property but this valley is just it's so beautiful they so have beautiful they so have, peaceful like the whole like area around the cottages is so well kept and then you're walking through and there's just like these perfectly nice trees beside and they have this nice path that goes down and you can get back to the water It's raining. <laughs> the forecast for today was literally what? 100% chance. 100% chance of, of rain. Lots of rain. Lots of rain. But still beautiful. We are fueled up with some breakfast and coffee from the lodge. And we're gonna go be checking out a local waterfall today. It's called Second Fork Falls. Uh, this experience would normally be if you're here staying here and doing the uh, backcountry package that they offer, be guided by who? Uh, it would be by Lee from Live Life Intense, which yeah. you probably probably seen him in some of our other videos. <laughs> Lee, yeah, so Lee is like a campground, outdoor adventure, a guiding company, and so it's a local company that they partner with, and it's a guided tour to this off the beaten track waterfall. It's absolutely gorgeous. We've been here one time before, yeah. um, but today is, uh, it's been a while since we were there. So. Yeah, so he, he normally would guide this, but we've been there before, so we're just going to do it by ourselves. Yeah and normally he would provide lunch as well. So we yeah. do have our own lunch. The lodge provided, provided us with lunch. She was like, yes. would you like some sandwiches to take with you? And we were like, oh, can't say no to sandwiches. So we are... Yeah, we have our, everything is Hopefully as waterproof, waterproof as we can be, but I feel like we're just gonna come out of this pretty wet anyway. It's <laughs> just gonna be a, <laughs> a wet It's gonna be a wet trip. trip. This <laughs> camera will be going in our bag and the GoPro and phones yeah. will be what we're mainly filming this adventure on. But it's an adventure, a beautiful one, and there's so many hiking opportunities around here, so excited to showcase just one of them. Here we go. There's a trail right here. Huh. Huh. We've kind of found a trail. It's Indy's favorite kind of day. That's what? It's Indy's favorite kind of day, a good river day. We are cruising, flying through this. 
soaking for flying. Yeah. I'm still dry though. Stop. <laughs> I forgot my Arcteryx and so now I have to use this and it's like... I don't know if I can fit through here. Wait. <laughs> so this is First Fork River and we have to cross it to get to Second Fork River which is Second Fork Falls. Do you want to go head up this river though to see the waterfall and like scout where we can cross? That's a real nice boulder. I don't know if we're going to get across this. I'm losing confidence because it looks pretty strong. You want to do this one? Yeah. Oh yeah, I think you could do it that way. Yeah, so it's a good We made it to the waterfall. Waterfall? Wow. There she is. Someday we will visit this and it won't be raining. <laughs> Someday, but today is not the day. One of the most coolest and impressive waterfalls we've been to on the island. And the adventure behind it is that it is a trek to get here. We made it, Toby. We made it. I want to get to the waterfall. M and G? Hell yeah! Well, we made it to the waterfall. Now we're heading home. <laughs> Back for dinner at the lodge. If we can make it before dark. Yeah. <laughs> Might be dark by the time we get We've been going for a while. Alright, we made it back to the river, but we're not going all the way up at the Charing Cross at this time. We're just gonna walk through with our shoes on. Uh, might have to carry Toby over. Made it, but I'm soaking. <laughs> Toby made it too. Oh yeah, Indy. Good girl! Oh, I can't feel my leg. Is that it? <laughs> I'm happy we didn't do that the first time though, because like... Yeah, that would have sucked. It would have sucked. It would have hiked sucked. the entire hike. <laughs> I was, I'm feeling better now, but when I got out of there, I was like, oh, yeah, like, my, my legs are frozen. My legs are really cold, so let's get Yeah. Are you sleepy? You sleepy dooby. That was a hike and a half. It took us all day. Now we're back and in, in warm again. Yes. <laughs> I like turned the shower on, but like did like a shower bath and I just like laid in the water. <laughs> and I kind of like let it fill up around me. And the dogs are it's happy. Lovely. They're so sleepy. Yes. They're gonna be good tonight, and we're just gonna go grab dinner now. And we're sleepy too, yeah. so we're gonna go eat some really good dinner and probably be zonk. Got a garden salad, and it looks absolutely beautiful. Look at this presentation. You got some little apples on the side there, nice vinaigrette, some onions, and craisins, and tomato, and carrots, and it's about to be in my belly. <laughs> I can bathe in a soup. It is a so good and be so nice and warm <laughs> to my soul that has been cold from that long hike today. This is our main dish for the night. We both got it. It's the chicken curry, chef's recommendation. Chicken curry with orshti, which is a Swiss dish. It is a potato cake. So it's served with vegetables and that curry sauce is just flowing into everything on the plate and we are very excited to dig in. I actually just took like a little nibble of some uh, potato cake with the curry sauce and it's so good. So good. Oh my god. This is a secret spot for food. I don't know if we want to share. Like, 
so good. How about this? Every every meal has been amazing. So, and I've like, I don't know how we don't know about it. And they're absolute gems of humans. Yeah. We should introduce them tomorrow. Okay. Okay. All right, good night, bro. Good morning. Morning. Breakfast. <laughs> we feel like we just ate. <laughs> Breakfast this morning is we got bacon and eggs again. Makes them perfect, like over medium eggs. And this is Berkshire muesli, which they really wanted us to try. So it's uh, like a Swedish oatmeal dish, cold oatmeal dish. And it's muesli with uh, dairy free yogurt and uh, oats as well. Oh, that's really nice. That's really, really nice. If you're looking for like a dairy-free, light, refreshing breakfast, this is the way to go. Before we check out, we kind of wanted to show you a little bit more of the property, especially right now since it's not raining today. So there is a barbecue over there for guests to use. There's a blue cottage there, a communal fire pit over there, and a picnic group table and a red cottage over here. Nobody's staying in them right now, so the owner said that we can take a little peek and show you guys what they look like inside. Very nice. So this one, the red cottage is also two bedrooms. So there is a double bed and a single bed in one room, two double beds in the other room. This house is massive. You could sleep two, four, six, seven, and maybe eight on the couch, <laughs> I'm not sure. Bathroom there, living space here, and then they have a whole kitchenette area as well. Yeah, very similar to our one. Very similar to ours, but it accommodates more people. And this is the blue duplex cottage. So I believe there are two different units on either side. This is one side of the blue cottage, two double beds, or three beds, double beds, and a bathroom as well. Let's see if the other side is identical. And the other side of the duplex cottage. Which, oh, wow. Yeah. So sleeps like this is probably better for like a couple and a bathroom too. Very, very nice. I just think it's so cool here. This is a beautiful spot. We are just about to check out of the Big Inerval Lodge, but before we head out, we really wanted to introduce our lovely hosts, the owners of this beautiful place. So if you guys want to introduce yourselves to maybe tell us how many years you've had this business, where you're from. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> sure, Scott. It was nice having you guys here. It's good to meet you guys. It's really great. So I'm Rose Schneeberger. That's my husband, Herman. We're owning the place since 1997. We're owning and operating it. Yeah, so we're living here in this beautiful Marguerite. And you guys moved over here from Switzerland? From Switzerland, yes. And what drew you to this location? Well, I guess we just fell in love with the area. Yeah. And we love to share that beauty with you guys. Like, it's, it's the Marguerite it's River, it's just not there. Totally contagious, because your guys' love for the area and the natural beauty, like David and I are like, I, we're surprised you share it, honestly. Like, we're surprised that you host people because if we were you, we'd be like, this is all ours. Yeah, <laughs> but. No, it's, it is. It's great. Like, if you come in snowmobile or cross country skis, we just, just can leave from here or ATVing. Yeah. 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 And our cook for the entire day of our stay, you love to cook. Right? I love to cook, yeah, love for sure. Cook. <laughs> for sure, especially for you guys. I like to do something different. I can do a lot more. I mean, we need the right customers too. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and like local and fresh local yeah. ingredients as yeah. much as possible. Yeah. 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 My favorite is. thing to do is when somebody brings a basket with uh, veggies and mm -hmm. a little piece of meat or fish, and then I have to do something. That's, okay. That's actually what I like. It, so. That's a little uh, travel tip then. If you stay here and you want to bring yeah. some of your own ingredients, yeah. we'll create a masterpiece yeah. for you. <laughs> yeah, 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 do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, thank you guys so, so much. This was just like a quick two night stay and we went ATV riding, we went with Kathy and Turk and then we went hiking the waterfall. But like you could come here and do none of that and just relax or you could fish or you could... Just fishing and enjoying, yes. Beautiful, yeah. beautiful spot. Thank you. Well, nice thank to meet you guys. guys. Nice thank, you. thank you. We'll be back. We'll be back. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Thank you for watching. We're going to head home now. Yes, we had a great stay at the Big Interval Lodge. Thank you so much to Ruth and Herman for having us. We had such a great little nature escape. And I mean, growing up, I've always known this place as the fishing lodge. And 
was never sure if we yeah. like regular old folks like us could go visit. So knowing now that this is not a space just for fishermen and for snowmobilers, this is a space for outdoor lovers, people that just want to book a cottage and sit by the river, go hiking, maybe go ATV riding in the mountains. This is a place for anybody that loves nature and is looking for a Beautiful. And like the best food. Beautiful escape. I'm oh coming back and I want to try the burger. You should just I come wanna, here for the food. I want to <laughs> hike to the waterfall. We want to like paddle down we the wanna, river. I know. We were There's like, so many things to do here. We are like, okay, should we come back in summer or fall or both? <laughs> yeah. We will definitely be back. And yeah, hopefully we have inspired you to also visit the Big Interval Lodge. It's located here in Marguerite, tucked in the mountains. It's absolutely enchanting and should be on your Cape Breton bucket list places to stay. Bye. Bye. Hello from Marguerite Valley. Dirty Lynn. Did you? I'll tell you that every time I come down here, I want to get adopted. Adopted? Yeah. <laughs> Into Marguerite area? <laughs> yeah, well, Ruth. Ruth. Specifically. <laughs> Most Ruth and Herman. Yeah, green style. Green style? Oh, yeah. yeah. So if you were born 10 years ago, today, how old would you be? I don't know. How old would I be? Why can't you just guess? I don't want to guess. I'd be... 17. And a bit. Why? Are you sure? No. What is this? A 10. What? 10. I don't understand. If I was born 10 years ago... Today. Today. Oh, if I was born. Oh. <laughs> That's a bad one. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm gonna take a video of me spooning my soup. <laughs> Except it's very difficult to do. This guy's just crazy. <laughs> crazy? Yeah, we don't like love him. Do you like them? Oh no! Oh god. Oh god. Oh, <laughs>